Hi guys, my name is Ayala Benatan and after healing myself of a chronic disease, I coach others to do the same. In the next video, I will share with you my story of how I cured myself. But first, opening. Let's begin. At the age of 15, I contracted Crohn's disease. For those of you who have not heard of it, it is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease. There are many theories, but no one really knows why one person is sick and another person is not. They only know that there is a psychosomatic component here, and maybe also genetic. From my point of view today, it is purely psychosomatic. I brought it on myself to get attention and facilitations, as I will explain later. During my many years of illness, I went through a tremendous earthquake. My life was paralyzed in all aspects, socially, romantically, professionally. I remember being sick and in so much pain, locked in my room for ages, always before or after stomach surgery, completely depressed. I would go in and out of the hospitals alone because my family could no longer embrace my pain. I isolated myself locked in my room for many, many years and rarely left the house. I was so lonely and voluntarily detached from everyone and from everything. I guess I didn't believe I deserved to be happy. I didn't want visitors to see me in such a horrible and exhausted state. The thing closest to me was my dog. He was my consolation in all this chaos. I believed that he was the only one who truly loved and accepted me as I am. Surely the hardest thing was the loneliness, the feeling that no one cares. I remember how I would hug the pillow at night and cry over this life and the endless suffering. In contrast to most Crohn's cases where the disease is alternately active, during my 12 years of illness, the disease was very, very active and very aggressive accompanied by lots of severe symptoms and surgeries that caused me to pluck my hair from pain and from frustration. As a result of this terrible disease, I also developed depression and severe anxiety attacks. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So what did I realize eight years ago that made me completely heal? What did I not understand then that I understand now? What change did I make that brought me here in front of you and allow me to share with you what I went through? I'm here because I know you can heal yourself too. You too can lift yourself out of the ashes and fly wherever you want. Just like the phoenix which burned itself and rose from its own ashes, this could also be your story. In Western culture, the term phoenix is used to describe people who return and grow after a fall or recover from a difficult situation and return to their glory days. My mission is to pass on my story so that all patients in the world will internalize that your health is in your own hands only. You can heal yourself, provided you learn to understand and believe that complete healing is possible for you as well. In order to understand how to heal yourself, it is important to understand how you created this sickness in you. I believe that we create our good health just like we create our diseases. And for me, it happened as follows. At the age of 12, my parents split off. As a result, everything I knew crashed. My self-esteem, which was very low even before the breakup, had gotten so much worse. I felt like the end of the world had came. I put myself in a state of self-neglect. I was fat. I felt so ugly. I hated and blamed myself for my parents' divorce. <sighs> Why didn't I keep them together? Why did I let this happen? I was mentally shattered. I felt the ground drop under my feet. I wanted not to wake up in the morning. I had nothing good to hold on to. At the deepest shit of my life, I was lost. I felt I had nothing in life, no stable ground, no support, no ability to contain anything, no hobbies, and almost no friends. 
I always dreamed of being thin and beautiful and stunning and that I would have many friends and many suitors and that they would all love and accept me for who I am. But I didn't even love and accept me for who I am. So this did not come and I was left alone with all of this shit. I remember how I would come home from school sobbing and crying for hours about my bitter fate. I blamed myself for being fat and ugly. Every time I looked in the mirror, I ran to the fridge to take comfort. As a result, I started a long and creepy process of self-destruction. I literally begged God to make me sick with a disease that would allow me to eat whatever I wanted and stay skinny. At the age of 15, several years after asking to be sick and thin, I left school pretext that I had a stomach ache, even though I felt very good. The abdominal pains became more and more real, and this is it. Now I got on the highway of sickness, of which there was no way out. After all, I only wanted to be a little sick so I could lose weight and avoid going to school. The response came in due time. The diarrhea and vomiting knocked on my door and everything became so real and so big. I became very ill and lost 10 kilos. Yeah, I succeeded! It's been three years since I asked to be thin and sick until it materialized. Indeed, I got everything I wanted, I lost weight, I looked like a model, I ate whatever I wanted and as much as I wanted and vomited and diarrhea, everything. The thing is, I did not link my request at all to this result. I completely forgot my wishes, but in the cosmos it was recorded and materialized in a way I could not even imagine. At the age of 17, after two years of endless suffering, of endless tests, of endless hospitalizations, they discovered that I had Crohn's disease, which is a chronic bowel disease whose symptoms are inflammations throughout the digestive system and also thinness. It is very easy to identify people who have Crohn's disease because usually they are very, very, very thin. And that's exactly what I asked for without even knowing about the disease. It's crazy. If you still have doubt, then wait for the next part where I will share with you what I had to understand and believe in order to heal myself. From the age 19 till the age of 26, I underwent about 60 surgeries. Every time I entered the operation room, I really had the hope that this time the surgery would solve my problem. But not. The treatment was always local, symptomatical, and could not or did not pretend to solve the disease from the root that created it. It is similar to a light bulb in the car. Imagine that you're driving a car, Suddenly, a light bulb comes on and you take the vehicle to the garage and they disconnect the light bulb so that it stops signaling. What do you think will happen to this car? The mechanic will probably not think of turning off the light bulb, but will approach the problem and try to solve the matter from the root. This is what doctors do with the help of medications. They turn off the warning lights instead of locating the source of the problem and solving it from the root. You know, I always believed that the solution would come from the doctors, through surgeries, medications, treatments. Like, the finger was always pointed at everyone and at everything, just not at me. At the age of 27, after I felt I did and tried everything that medicine had to offer me and nothing really helped, I found myself still with such a severe illness and with so much pain, I was addicted to all of the painkillers and still suffered badly. The painkillers at some point stopped affecting me. It was a nightmare! I haven't slept for months. Most of the time I would cry out in pain, tormented and not understand why it's happening to me. Why doesn't it pass? I've already done everything and the doctors don't understand why it hurts at all. I was on the verge of suicide. I had no reason to get up in the morning. I didn't work. I didn't acquire any education all these years. 
I had no passions, no hobbies, I had no friends, no relationships. My life was over, meaningless, empty, yet full of sickness and infinite difficulty. Suicide had seemed like the best option. Just wanted to end this ongoing suffering called life. Until one morning, in a moment of relief from the pain, I heard a voice emanate from within. And the voice said, you haven't been through all these painful years for nothing. The day will come and you will help a great many people due to everything you're going through here. I heard this and cried tears of happiness because suddenly my life took a meaning and I had a reason to recover. That voice was the voice of the intuition, the inner guidance that each of us has. It is just like an inner GPS. A week later, I heard the same voice, this time guiding me to a book named You Can Heal Your Life. I took it and read that Louise Hay had cured herself of cancer thanks to a change in her belief system and thanks to self-love. At that moment, I devoted myself to my healing as if my life depended on it, because they really did depend on it. After a few days of intense practice of the new beliefs, I woke up in the morning and the pain was completely gone. Within a week, I'd already stopped with all the addictive medications and painkillers and the illness and pain did not return again. Since then, eight years that I've been completely healthy and live my mission by helping people who suffer from illnesses and pain, teaching them to do the same mental and emotional work that brought me to full recovery. What have I learned from my private healing journey? I've learned that there is no limit to what is possible for me. Everything is possible for me. I've learned that my only limitations are the ones I hold in my own mind. I've learned to love, accept, and appreciate who I already am right now and with no conditions. I've learned that self-love and self-acceptance heals the body. It's miraculous and almost incomprehensible, but it's true. I've learned to appreciate and be grateful towards everything that life brings to me with the understanding that there's an important lesson here for me. And also, because being grateful attracts a lot of health and plenty of abundance to my life. I've learned to be my own best friend. I've learned to care for me and to be here for me. It is my job to do that. I've learned that optimistic and loving thoughts create health and negative thoughts create sickness and pain. I've learned that the source of all illness is in the belief that I'm not good enough. I've come to recognize that I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to fulfill my dreams. So that's what I keep getting. You see, we only get what we believe we deserve. I've learned that only I can heal myself. I know that real and complete healing is one that comes from within. It's in your own hands and in your own heart. You can find in you the strength to do that. I've learned to take full responsibility for my well-being, for my health and for my feelings. I cut off relationships with people who weighted me down and drained me energetically. I learned to forgive myself and forgive those I've been hurt by. Thanks to forgiveness, I got to set myself free. I'm free from the prison of negativity, of guilt and resentment. Liberate yourself. You'll be so much better without it. I learned to create happy and loving relationships with people who inspire me. Baby, I love traveling with you. I love it. Oh, I love, baby, I love, I love, I love. baby. Look, 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 I learned to be attentive to my needs and to do only what makes me feel good without hurting others, of course. I learned to put me at the top of my list. I've learned that my body is a loyal servant and every single sickness or pain comes to help me to get things. I got so much love and affection. I got a lot of money. I stayed in my bed in my comfort zone instead of living life and facing challenges. I've learned to listen to my body and connect with it. I've got stronger, developed, with immeasurable emotional resilience. 
I found strength in me that I did not know existed in me. I learned to look at the world in wonder, like a baby who has just opened his eyes. I've learned to love and heal my inner child. I've learned that the spirit is so much stronger than the body. I learned to connect to my intuition, to the inner guidance that guides me the most correctly because it wants my best. I've learned through intuition to find my mission in life, which is to help and care for people. I've come to realize how much the world needs powerful people to show the light for those who are still in the dark. I woke up to life after a very long sleep. I woke up with a new identity to the real inner me, thanks to everything that I've been through. These are my healing insights. You'll be amazed at how perfectly they work, almost like magic. I suggest you go over the insights again and notice two things, which ones touches you the most and which ones you have the most resistance to, was strange or hard to understand the most. Why? Because your healing can come from internalizing even one sentence out of the one that you chose. How can all this contribute to your personal journey? Ask yourself, what am I learning about myself? What is possible for me? What is the next small step that will lead me to full healing? What is the most important thing I have produced here? Which one insight do I choose to work with now? What do I get from being ill? Please remember that knowing it's not enough. Once you choose to apply these insights and knowledge, then your life will take a turn. Success is guaranteed for those who dedicate themselves to their self-healing. Please share with me what inspired you the most here. Click on the subscribe button if you got something out of this video. I was Ayala Benatan and thank you for being here with me. What? What?